I'm sitting on the throne, me obey my head to chairman. I'm sitting on the throne, me obey my knees to the laga. I'm sitting on the throne, I'm a grown man and a young buddy. I'm sitting on the throne, I ain't got beef with nobody. So what's what you heard? Everybody now king for a lane. Music artist Olamide describes himself to be a king on his lane on this song. And sincerely, we can't dispute him. If we take a look at other professions, we'll find people who have occupied the position of a king despite the challenges around such professions and ill talks made about it. Some individuals have belief in their dreams and have worked, stuck to their guns to prove themselves and make sure they emerge as individuals to reckon with. One of such persons is Nollywood actor Ali Nuhu. <laughs> Many years ago, Ali Nuhu was a young boy who desired to be on TV screens after watching several television series. But now, he's not only living his dreams, he's now a screen icon that has crossed different cultures and a multi award winning actor. Ali Nuhu is a prominent figure in Kaniwood. He's an actor and at the same time a movie producer and director. He has a background in geography from the University of Joss. Getting an admission in a university in Jos was a major step in fulfilling his dream because most of the TV series from the North back then was shot in Jos. After going for several auditions during his spare time at school, he finally got a minor role and made his first appearance in a TV series as a student still in uni Jos. Since this first opportunity, Ali began to work his way into other movie roles. This could only happen because he puts up an exceptional performances at any given role. Amongst his northern colleagues, Ali is a trend star, being the only actor to have successfully cut across the northern and southern axis of Nigeria. He's proved not to be a local champion as he can rub shoulders with actors everywhere in Nigeria and all over Africa. But unlike his colleagues, Ali cannot be cast for a role where he would have to kiss a woman. He's explained several times that his religion can't permit him to kiss another woman, even in movies. Despite this restriction, the tall, dark-complexioned actor has a unique selling point. He can fluently speak Hausa, English and Hindu language. Though movie viewers in other regions other than northern Nigeria may not really know him, Ali has made several appearances in English-speaking Nollywood movies. Some of the notable ones are Last Flight to Abuja, Confusion Nawa, Sitanda and several others. The latest one is being one of the cast of Funke Akindele's Jennifer's Diary. Who is it? It's some lady. I don't know. How did she get in? I lost the door. You're asking me how she got in? That's how Andre Bas would just, just come in here and rape me and you ask me questions. Me, Effie. I don't Effie. think I'm safe in this house. Effie, Effie, how many times do I have to warn you? Give me my house keys and... Hello, Danny. I thought you were sick. I can see what's making you ill. Susie, what are you doing here? I thought I would come surprise my sick fiancé, but I can see you're already getting some medication. Please, Susie, I'm, I'm sorry. Let's talk about Kaniwood, where Ali is an idol. Kaniwood is an informal word for the Hausa cinema of northern Nigeria. It is based in the center of commerce in Nigeria. Kano State. It's a regional division of the Nigerian film industry and it produces movies in Hausa language as well as highlights the predominant religion in the north. The cinema of northern Nigeria slowly evolved from the productions of RTV Kaduna and Radio Kaduna in the 1960s. Veterans like Dalhatu Bawa and Kasim Uyero pioneered drama productions and became popular with the northern audience. However, Kanye Wood has a lot of gratitude to give to Ali Nuhu, who has been their major expert. The Gombe State actor, whose father is a prominent figure in Nigerian politics, now has over a hundred Hausa and fifty English movies to his credits. 
yanzu ya tashi da kai da madawo kanka kar ka bata bin lokaci a banza kawai ka tafi gabani wuri bana san ganin ka on top of his admirable career as an actor alinu who is happily married to a beautiful woman Mimuna Garba Abdelkadri and they have two great kids Fatima and Ahmed <laughs>